Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is KG Live with the movie review of Poor Things. Please like and subscribe. So the best way that I can describe this movie is Frankenstein meets Salvador Dali. This is a very strange movie uh, starring Emma Stone, pictured in the uh, image right here. All, she is, her character in this movie, she is a, uh, a woman who commits suicide, jump, jumps off a bridge, and a mad scientist, William Defoe, uh, brings her back to life, and she's brain dead, but he discovers that she's pregnant, and so he does a brain transplant where he puts the brain of her unborn baby into uh, the adult dead woman's head and brings her back to life, uh, Frankenstein style, and then basically she is a, a grown infant uh, learning her, you know, learning her, uh, finding her way in the world. And there's a young scientist, his assistant falls in love with Emma Stone, but she doesn't like him. She wants to go out into the world and go on an adventure. And uh, she basically literally becomes a whore uh, in a French brothel in Paris. And she whores herself up. And she comes back to the mad scientist William Defoe <clears throat> and she ple pledges her loyalty to the assistant and pledges that she'll get married to the assistant after she's been a whore for a couple years literally in Paris and then as they're about to get married the, her original husband that she was married to where she was so unhappy, she jumped off a bridge, interrupts the marriage, and says, hey, you're actually my wife. And so she's like, okay. And she just goes home with the original husband and then realizes why she jumped off a bridge to begin with. And then she then goes back to uh, Dr. Frankenstein and his assistant and marries him. And then they do a... Uh, brain transplant from a goat to her original husband and then you know they're just living their best life at the end of the movie with uh, basically a Captain save -a simp basically is the assistant here so she's basically just this terrible just terrible woman and yet she still finds someone to love her and take care of her happy ever after and the story in and of itself is not a very good story. Um, I'm looking here online, and it's got a 92% on, as of, as of right now, as I'm making this video, it's got a 92% on, like, Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic, which to me seems insane, because the movie is not that good. Um, but Emma Stone is naked throughout the entire movie. So I think that boosted the ratings of this uh, of this movie big time, and and considering she's just coming off of a her fifth Saturday Night Live uh, host, she joined the the Five Club. That her popularity is what's make made this movie a ninety two rating, and considering that she's as she's a whore in a Paris whorehouse, she's basically naked throughout the entire movie. But the movie itself is not that good. Um, it's very, it's a very strange movie. Um, a very uh, clockwork orange, kind of has a Stanley Kubrick vibe to it. And here's another image from the, the film here to kind of put in uh, I have to be careful what I show here so here is the uh, a weird part of the movie so the Dr. Frankenstein has a, he's got all these pets that he does the uh, experiments on so he put a head of a pig onto the body of a chicken so it's very odd but yet, it's something that I've never seen before as far as the, 
you know, the Frankenstein's lab and things like that, things of that nature. And so basically she's an experiment of Dr. Frankenstein. She is a Frankenstein monster too, but she's beautiful. And she's crazy. But yet, because even though that she's completely insane, just the fact that she's beautiful, all these men fall in love with her. But yet, happily ever after, she just uh, goes on her grand adventure and then uh, everything works out for her. Is this movie worth seeing? Uh... I mean, I guess I guess it's worth seeing. Like I said, it's got a 92% rating right now, which I don't think is, which I, I think this stuff is, is uh, rigged, honestly, because, I mean, I, I think, like I said, I think the best, the reason why this movie's rated so high is because Emma's naked throughout the entire movie, basically. And... But the pig on the chick, the, the pig's head on the chicken was uh, probably the coolest thing of it walking around in the film. And, you know, if you're a fan of Frankenstein, you know, William Defoe plays a, he's a, he's kind of an experiment himself, you know, self-experimentation of putting, keeping himself alive for longer It's definitely better than any superhero movie I've seen in a long time, which is apparently the norm now. So that's kind of refreshing that it's not another superhero movie. So I guess it is worth seeing. I don't think it's a 92%, that's for sure. I mean, it's not it's not a movie that I would want to watch over and over and over again. It's, I mean, it's it, it's an odd movie. Uh, it's it's kind of disturbing. It's not something that I would want to watch continuously. But it's out in theaters right now. Go check it out. All right, YouTube. It's KG Live. Please like and subscribe. Peace.